Hello, good afternoon, everyone, and thank you so much for joining the Moldex 3D Webinar Series 2022. My name is Amanda Nicholson, and today's topic is going to be understanding shear stress and shear rate as a simulation output. We're going to start with a quick introduction, um, get into what shear stress and shear rate are. We're going to talk about um, how shear affects the material through um, shear thinning and degradation. Then we're going to get a little bit into um, simulation, how we uh, came to come up with these uh, recommended shear ranges and how to use the simulation outputs. And then what that actually does to your plastic. So orientation, surface defects, and filling, heating and imbalances. So the most important question to start off with is of course, what is shear? What, why do we see it in plastic? Um, so shear is something that we're gonna see when the plastic is filling into the mold cavity. And this is a cross section of um, the plastics melt flow front flowing into the mold. So for the sake of this um, illustration, we'll say this is going to be our runner, right? So this um, top blue bar and this bottom blue bar, this is the mold steel coming into contact with the plastic that's filling into the runner system. So when plastic flows into the mold, what we see is that the material that first touches the mold steel is going to freeze off, it's going to quench, and then it's just going to freeze in place. So that's a frozen layer of plastic that's not moving. And then we see that the material at the center of our flow path, the center of our runner, is moving very, very fast, right? It's, it's rapidly filling the mold. And so what we have is a transition zone where we've got uh, zero velocity up to a very fast velocity. And so we've got a difference in shear rate, or sorry, a difference in velocity, and that causes a shear rate, right? So a difference in velocity is shear. And so to help you visualize what that looks like, um, we can visualize a deck of cards being placed on a table and taking your hand and moving your hand forward, pushing the cards. So the cards at the top that are up against your hand, they're gonna start moving forward but the cards at the bottom, they are in contact with the table, so there's a bit of friction there, and they're going to stay still. So those cards moving forward at different rates, that's going to be um, comparable to how layers of plastic are sliding past each other as we fill out the injection mold. So again, the center is going to be moving very fast. The frozen layer isn't moving at all. And so that leads a small section right inside the frozen layer um, that is going to have a very high shear rate. And that's why we see these spikes of shear right inside the frozen layer. But even though the material is moving very fast in the center here, we see hardly any shear at all because the difference between the velocity and the center is very little. 